sort, mix, and match. So you might have heard of the expression that nothing good comes easily in another aspect of that, nothing good comes fast. And uh, the nothing good comes fast is part of this idea, but it's broader uh, in terms of source, sort, um, sort, mix, and match. So I was in the grocery store today. I, I'm not a nutritionist. Don't take anything I say as nutritional advice. I'm only saying what I do. You do what makes sense to you in your research. Uh, but I've done a lot of study. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, but just for my own personal health. And it's gone through a few evolutions. So I'll tell you I'm at where I'm at now and how that relates to the sort, uh, sort mix, and match principle uh, related to life and business and everything else. So I look at, uh, it, when I look at uh, labels in grocery store, uh, it's, kind of, it's quite an exercise. Um, I look at uh, total fat, uh, saturated fat, um, sugar, uh, cholesterol, um, uh, sodium, which is salt, and uh, carbohydrates. So, you know, in the previous evolution, there's been a few different evolutions. Um, I just did more like the um, the low carb diet, which are very popular, like the Atkins, I think South Beach also. And that idea is that it helps you lose weight. I did lose a lot of weight and I, I kept it off, although a lot of people don't. But I didn't realize um, that, you know, so I had low carbs and low sugar. So I cut out like all breads, pasta, uh, anything with sugar in it basically as well. Um, but I didn't realize that um, until I did more research, this is why you have to peel the onion, peel the onion, peel the onion. So that's why it's sort, mix, and match, because uh, this is the sorting part. And um, so I didn't realize that I was getting a lot of uh, cholesterol and, uh, and sodium uh, with a low-carb diet. Now, you might think that would be obvious that, you know, uh, you would realize that, but I, I didn't realize that until I did more research. It took me a long time, actually, and I was getting a lot of sodium and cholesterol. Um, so I had to rethink, you know, what am I doing? Cause I did more research, like what are the, what are the effects of cholesterol and sodium? So, um, where I'm at now, and I'm not saying it's not going to evolve further is that, um, uh, a more holistic approach of, of, uh, low fat live foods, you know, like, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, still have, um, uh, you know, low sugar, low carbs, but not, not uh, excessively because you do need uh, some uh, carbs, um, but they should be good carbs like whole grains and things like that. Like I did a lot more research, and again, there's probably a lot I don't know, but I'm just trying to show show the principle of how you have to keep peeling the onion and go deeper on how it becomes more nuanced. So at the first any field you get into, at the first you have like a oh I have the greatest idea of how I'm going to revelize this, and then you see a part of it works, part of it doesn't. Uh, and it has to become more nuanced. So, you know, you can't just say, oh, all carbs, uh, you know, are equal and, and forget about cholesterol and forget about sugar uh, or forget about uh, salt. Um, it's, it's a combination of factors. So so now I, 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 uh, uh, I do low fat, I do low sugar, um, I do uh, more of the healthy carbs, um, you know, that have fiber, and that have um, uh, uh, soluble fiber, especially, although both are important. And, uh, you know, the healthy fats, it's low fat, but a little bit of fat, like the omega-3s are supposed to be really good for you. And I'm starting to look into supplements to see, you know, what is healthy and what's not. Um, so it's, it's a lot more uh, nuanced. So the mixing part, the sorting part, is that um, uh, you have to... Uh, you know, look at things closely. Like some some foods are great and everything, but they have uh, really high sodium. So it's kind of like do a trade off. Like, do you want to have a lot of salt even though you're having everything else good? Some are like really, uh, uh, you know, great and everything, but they're a little bit higher fat. Is it the right kind of fat? Or you know, you have to weigh and measure. So this the same sorting that you do in groceries, you could do in any aspect of your life. Like with employees, for example, you know, an employer reviews like. Which characteristics are most important? If a, if a if an employee is really really skilled in one area but you know somewhat deficient in another area, like how do you how do you weigh and measure which skills are most important? Does it does it uh, does it uh, differ by position? Does it differ by uh, length of time of service? Does it differ by 
you know, certain things are so bad that even if everything else is great, that it's still untenable. So this is what I'm talking about, like more nuanced kind of action and more nuanced uh, thinking. Same thing with relationships, like when you're picking a spouse, you know, um, like if everything is there, but the, you know, the, uh, 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 the uh the uh the looks aren't quite what you're looking for how much does that matter like if a person um uh you know lies a little bit but everything else is what you're looking for or if a person uh like you know what's a deal breaker and what's not um uh you know how do you know when to trust someone how do you know when to forgive someone um you know and then mix and matching like how do you know for business how do you know what industry to go in um, how do you know, uh, you know, what's profitable? How do you know how much iteration to do? So I, I, I've done like other podcasts on decision making, but I just, in this podcast, I want to kind of like just reinforce the idea that you have to always peel off more ideas of the onion or whatever you hold to today, you have to test it out. And you have to, like Elon Musk does, I think, go to pr- first principles, like say like first principles is basically just starting with a, a, a a blank sheet of paper to look at fresh eyes and say, if I was starting this business today and I didn't have all these legacy systems and investments in this, what would I do? Uh, you know, if I wasn't beholden to all the things I've done in the past, same thing with a diet, same thing with a relationship. Like if I was just starting a relationship today, uh, what would I, what would be important to me? So sort, mix, match, go to first principles. It doesn't mean that you erase everything that you've done before when you go to first principles. It just like it just means that you keep that as a backdrop in your mind.